Plastic bags, big problem, lots of solutions. Everybody asks me, how do you get around it? And really what it comes down to is just about sort of training yourself differently. I mean, the first thing obviously is use a reusable bag. I mean, there's tons of them. And actually, as you collect them over the years, you'll notice you like figure out who you give money to and whatever. But bottom line is these things, you can get them at most supermarkets for 99 cents now. Some are like two bucks or whatever, but they'll give you five or 10 cents back every time you bring them in. So, you know, it's gonna pay for itself really soon. So, and then it'll make you money. So just makes sense. But then there's a question of like, oh, I always forget them. Well, you know what I tell people is like, you don't forget your wallet when you go to the store. If you're not like me, you don't forget your wallet when you go to the store it's because you're used to it. You just have to get used to it. So. We basically keep a ton of plastic, or plastic, we keep a ton of reusable bags by the door here. And, uh, you know, that way we just, you know, you just sort of grab one when you're ready to go and you're off to the races. Um, we usually throw a couple in the car because we've got enough by now. Um, and you just train yourself to remember them. Remember them once, remember them twice, eventually remember them all the time. Also, if you just say, today, I'm never going to take another plastic bag again, period. You just won't. And what will happen is you'll do what I did, which is you go to the store once, twice, three times without the plastic bags, and you'll be the guy doing this, carrying your stuff out to the car looking like an idiot. You don't want to do that again. You remember to bring your reusable bag. So that's, that's number one. Get a couple, keep them by the door, keep them in the car, you'll remember them, okay? Next, those little plastic bags inside the, uh, the supermarket for, uh, you know, produce, vegetables, whatever. I actually got these things at reusablebags.com. They're 99 cents a piece. So if you want to spend a little bit of money, they're little mesh bags. They've got a cool little drawstring here. And handy dandy, they actually, see if I can show you this, they actually say on them, they actually have the weight on them. So they'll actually deduct the weight from it. And by the way, uh, most stores will give you five cents back for this bag too. So again, this is gonna make you money. And those bags, they're horrible anyway because you can't use them for anything else. They break, there's nothing to do with them. So just like stop using those. So bottom line, you get a couple of these or, or I'll give you another option in a minute. Keep them inside the bags here so you don't have to think about it anymore. So when you go to the store, it's already there. Now, let's say you don't wanna spend any money on it. Totally understandable. So what you do is you go and you get one of your daughter's old t-shirts, <laughs> and if you're handy, which I am not, you sew up the arms, you sew up the top, and then you've got a t-shirt that's now a reusable bag, right? Okay, so that's like a no-brainer. I mean, your kid's done with it, or you're done with it, and, you, and they're all like completely stylish because they're different. So that's like, yeah, that's a way to do it without spending any money, but there are lots of different ways to do it. Also, another thing, if you're buying apples, you really, really don't need them in a bag. You can put them in your cart, put them on the thing, and they can look at you funny, and you're done, okay? So that's sort of the store stuff there. Now, we go to the farmer's market a lot, so like, let's say we get strawberries that come in these little greeno things, right? When we're done with the strawberries, well, we put those back in the bag by the door, so the next time we go to the farmer's market, they're there, and we just have them fill it up again, or we give them back to them to reuse again, we get new ones. So then you're just sort of replacing them. You're not actually chucking them. You're not disposing of them. It doesn't make sense. Eggs, same thing. We get them from the farmer's market, pick up some eggs, take the box in, ask them to fill it up, reuse it, reuse it, reuse it, reuse it. When you're done with it, put it in the bag. You don't have to think about it anymore. Uh, coffee, bulk coffee. Fill it up with coffee. It smells great. Take it home, put it into you know a canister or something like that, hopefully something that keeps it fresh. Fold it up. Put it in the bag. Next time you go to the store and you need coffee, it's there and you know. So, no brainer. It's just about training yourself to do things differently. Now, the one other thing that people ask me about is what do you do with dog poop? Because we've got a dog. So, we actually, uh, you can compost dog poop, but you need a special one. We actually use these things, bio bags. They're, uh, they're corn based bags. So, you basically, you know, it's like any dog poop bag. You put it in there and you, and, and, I don't have to tell you more about that, but it's made out of corn. So if you throw it into the uh, landfill or into the garbage or whatever, um, it's eventually going to break down. And, and when it does break down, it will break down into relatively inert stuff because this is corn. I mean, I guess you could eat this, although it doesn't really look that good. But uh, bio bags, they also make kitchen bags. So if you, if you need a kitchen bag, you can actually use uh, corn-based kitchen bags. So a lot of options. Now, a lot of people will say, like, well, they cost more and this and that, and they do. They cost more. I mean, a lot of people use the plastic bags from the store, and they're free, essentially. Uh, although they won't be soon. Um, but look at what you're doing in the environment. It's just not being responsible. Yes, these cost more, but if you want a way around these, get a worm composter, put your food in there, then you don't even need a bag anymore because the thing is your, your garbage isn't going to have anything yucky on it. It's just going to be 
stuff that you can't recycle and it's going to be clean and no problem. But bio bags are a good option. I think there are other other companies, but I just don't know about them. So there you go. Keep them around. Train yourself. Before you know it, you'll be done with plastic bags.